gonna get started on the crust. So this recipe, if you wanna make it into a pie, just cut the recipe in half, and I'll put the ingredients below, and you can cut it in half. I'm going to a uh, party, so I'm going to do it in a, in a nice foil tin, so I'm doubling the recipe. So you can make this into squares or a pie. So first thing you're gonna do is preheat your oven. I'm doing 375 because my oven is a cool oven. Otherwise, do it at 350. It's gonna melt now a half a cup of butter. And once that's melted, ouch, smushy. Sorry, my cat's playing with me. Two cups of graham wafer crumbs, two tablespoons of sugar, and we're just going to cut it all together with one of these pastry cutters, and then pat it into the pan, whatever kind of pan you're using. Then you're gonna bake it for five to eight minutes until it's golden brown, and then let it cool completely. So the next thing we need to prepare in advance is our jello pudding center. So you're gonna take six cups of milk and put it into a good sized saucepan. Then I have here six serving packages of this pudding. So this one's banana cream and this one is vanilla. I'm gonna put them together so it's not overpowering with banana. And uh, just bring it to a boil on the stove. Now you're gonna let the pudding cool for five to 10 minutes on the stove like pulled off the hot burner and then you're just going to stir it from time to time to help it cool a little more evenly. So we have now our crust cooling completely. It's still quite warm. And our pudding we're going to cover with some round wrap and put in the fridge and then just continue to periodically stir it to keep um, to get it cool to cool faster to keep it cooling evenly. So we're going to Cover it up and put it in the fridge. For our peanut butter mixture, we're going to blend three ounces of cream cheese with a half a cup of icing sugar. And then blend in a third of a cup of peanut butter and one teaspoon of vanilla. Next, you're going to fold in two thirds of a cup of whipping cream, but you wanna use um, one tablespoon of that two thirds just to stir it in and lighten up the, the mixture and then fold in the remaining. And like everything else, we're gonna refrigerate it until it's time to assemble the pie. The final preparation that we need to do is make some chocolate shaving curls. So I just take my baker's chocolate and I use rather a sharp knife or a potato peeler and shave them off trying to make nice curls and I just keep them in a small cup. For We will garnish the pie right before we serve it. Okay, so I'm going to keep this in the fridge with everything else and take it out just before I'm ready to garnish because it's summer and with the shavings being so thin I don't want them to melt. So I'll just keep them in there for now and bring them out about five to 10 minutes before I'm ready. All right, it's time to assemble. So it's gonna take about four large bananas. You're going to cut them into quarters, then brush them with some fresh lemon juice or some, you know, one in a container. You're gonna brush them so that they don't brown and then start to lay them in your pan. Next, we're gonna add our cooled fudge sauce. So you can see the bananas are all laid out with a little bit of space in between and the fudge sauce will get nice, nicely laid down in between to hold everything together and um, it'll help incorporate the rest of the pie to be nice and level. And there's the chocolate and now we're going to put on top our cream cheese peanut butter mixture. As you can see, it's just a thin layer because both peanut butter and cream cheese are quite strong flavors and you don't want it to overpower the pie. So the next layer is our banana cream pudding. And last but not least, we're gonna top it all off with some Cool Whip. And here it is, all done. So you're just gonna put it back in the fridge now and take it out when you're ready to serve. Okay, so I took a piece out a little too early and you can see the pudding collapsed. And so I let it sit for another hour and you can see all the yummy layers there. And this is the way the cake looks where the pie looks with some chocolate on top. Now, it is scrumptious. It does not photograph well, so I apologize, because it still does, like, it collapses a little bit, like it stays up, but all the different layers kind of get smothered together, so it doesn't photograph well. But let me tell you, I gave my husband a bite, and he came back for five more. I'm not kidding. 
it is so yummy you will love it I'm not even a big banana fan and I love this recipe so and uh, I just love it I love it love it love it I can't wait to make it again <laughs> I hope you like it as much as I do